Welcome to 21 Days Prayer Breakthrough with Subtle Breakthroughs. In this series, we will be sharing verses, one for each day, as a scripture focus as we pray together. While with me, wherever you are, please keep agreeing in the Spirit. Together, let's ask the Lord for a breakthrough. Also during this series, we will focus on different prayer concerns each day, while declaring God's Word because we believe that God's Word is strong and powerful. The scripture for today is found in the book of Isaiah 45, 1 and 3. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nations before him and loose the armor of kings, to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of fire. I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name, am the God of Israel. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we come to you today for we believe that you are faithful to your words and promises. We believe we are not consumed. The crisis we are in as of the moment is momentary, but it will pass away and we will come out of it victorious and strong. But because we are weak, we need your help. We want to sense your spirit in our midst. We need to sense you holding our hands and keeping us strong. For so many weeks, we've been restrained from congregating to worship here. And for some time, we felt far from your presence. But look unto us, Lord, and help us. Allow us to believe in faith that you are with us. Allow us to feel your presence and affection. If we look around with our physical eyes, we will surely be dismayed because all we see are people suffering from various problems. As if the devil has already been unleashed in our presence and we are not aware of it. But God, you are our God. You will raise your hands and subdue these evil forces. You will not allow the enemy to destroy the works of your hands, nor will you allow evil to consume us. Lord, we call unto you, for we know that you hold the key of our salvation. Save us from this crisis, the pandemic, and open before us doors of salvation, doors we didn't expect, doors that will lead us to your throne of grace. But Lord, not only doors, but also gates, gates that would fence us from the strikes of the enemy, so that no harm will befall us, and close those doors that lead us away from you, so that we will never again wander away from your presence. Please go before us in all things and help us see you walking with us. Strengthen our path and drive away confusion. For in this time of crisis, we've been confused, disheartened, and paralyzed. But because you are a God who can strengthen crooked paths, we look up to you for guidance, so please lead us. We need you now more than ever before. We need you to guide us, O Lord. With your mercy and love, release your blessings upon your nation. We've been looted out by the enemy. Our livelihood, our health, our dreams, and our plans for 2020 has all been stolen from us. Yet we believe that you are the source of all life and of all blessings. What has been stolen from us will be paid back a hundredfold. A faithful God will not stand by and see his children suffer, for you are our Redeemer. But even if you would remain silent upon your people today, we will continue to put our hope in you, for we know that within us is the treasure that has been hidden for ages, a treasure that can never be taken away from us. Yet above all this, we want to understand that things happen according to your control. That in dark times like this, you'd help us to see your riches that has been hidden in this darkness. Riches that will only be disclosed to those who put their faith in you. And if in one way or another, some of us fail this test of faith and have been knocked off by the weight of this crisis, then we pray that you help us. Help us to see and understand that you have called us by our names. That you know us personally that you know the weight of the problem we are going through. You know our needs. You know how we cry deep inside. 
You know how we tried, though we failed. You know us, and you are concerned because we matter to you. Help us to see you as the God of Israel, the God who rescued them from all their battles, the God who established them as a nation, the God who is faithful to his promises. Help us to see you in the light of what you have done to your nation Israel, and behold you do the same to your church these days. Today, Lord, we started on this 21-day prayer breakthrough journey with you, and we pray that you bless our hearts joined together to pray for all the nations. We pray because we believe you are attentive to our prayers, and we pray because we need you. We pray because you have taught us to ask if we need anything. And we pray because you have given us a name to call upon, the name Jesus, and to whom we are lifting up all these prayers. Amen.